Hello there, Forge of Mars here. I uh, got home this evening after a busy day's work to find this wonderful little beastie sitting waiting for me. It's the uh, Dystopian Wars Alexiev Battlefleet set uh, that Warcradle have uh, kindly sent out for me as a review copy. So I thought let's get it open and uh, so everyone can see what's in it. As you'll see, safety first. I'm going to cut through the sides because I don't like damaging the box art. So. Mmm, smell the freshness. Uh, I do like this about their uh, box sets. It's rather swish. A little box in there. So. Ooh. So the actual Alexiev itself is resin. You also get within the kit, I'll quickly show you, uh, a selection of support vessels. So flying units, obviously um, planes and these strange looking uh, driller killers <laughs> and hovercrafts because they do like the other hovercraft and the Alexiev itself. So it allows you the kits, all the kits allow you to actually build variations on certain hulls and so you can just like, you know, you've got on the sprues, oh my goodness, that is, oh my goodness. Wow. That, <laughs> that's bigger than what I thought it would be. <laughs> And yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of detail uh, with this as well. Um, very smooth finish. Don't see any, uh, just a little bit further. So obviously the gates will have to come off on that. So handsaw and then sand them down. And some engine sections. Uh, I believe these are the little rocket canister thingies. Uh, oh, there's three bits in here. So, yeah, so obviously the other side, I've already <laughs> thrown them over there. So, yeah, engines, some more engines. Looks like little vent things there as well. But that's, it's not, it's not that heavy, looks it, but it's, it's not, it's actually quite light. But all in one piece as well. But the detail on that, you see, if we get closer to the camera, that's really quite nice. And I love the like the steampunk aesthetic they have with these. So let's put that there with all these little bits. Okay, so these are just bases for the different flying units. These are for the aircraft that come with the uh, aircraft carriers. So they're like little tokens. And what you do, like certain carriers can, you know, launch X amount of uh, squadrons. So you just have a squadron on the top one and then you just stack them. So it just makes it easier. So like if you can fly, fly out four in a unit, so you've got your four there, you just have that on the top for the top section and then you know you've got four squadrons there. And then you remove. Um, so these are the kits for the... Oh, so you can actually build carriers out of this as well. So, the, as I was saying, with the actual kits, so these are the examples they've, they've given, uh, but you can do variations on these, the um, the, the Dragonov, the Stolotov, so Stolotov, Dragonov. Um, hovercrafts, so... These ones, which are the Zuba and then the, the Guiana. We had the Pravda uh, aircraft carrier or light cruiser, support cruiser carrier. Um, so, as it says on here, advanced cruisers, you can build three different variations. Um, but you can only, like obviously, in the kit itself, um, so you've only got two advanced cruiser options. So, these here. 
uh, but you've got the uh, Irk Irkutsk, the Saransk, and the Tugusta. Um, then the support cruisers, so the uh, Katanga, the, Mor the Morozko, and the Pravda, uh, which is there, the Morozko there, and uh, the Ekrano plan, the Dragonov and the Stulatov. Um, and the, obviously we've done the air. four escorts, uh, which are what? Oh, um, oh, they're the SRS tokens, so they're the squadrons. Um, and I can't see the F. Where's the F? D. These must be the F. For the little little thing. Is that the D there? That's the um, Ekrano plan. But yeah, it's um. So you got one, two of the sprues there for those. Uh, the support carriers or support cruisers. Uh, these are the advanced cruisers, so the, the flying dudes and the hovercraft section there. And you got two sprues of them. So yeah, there's definitely a, a lot of uh, bits in there. So obviously two variations of that thing, um, of the hovercraft. You've got three variations of the advanced cruiser. So you've got all the parts to do each of those variations. Um, I've not built these, so I don't know the like ins and outs um, of this particular kit. I know with the crown forces, which I've been collecting, um, you can sort of magnetize obviously parts like turrets in particular um but i've got no experience of these ones as yet because this is the first box i've opened uh, so but you can see where um on these for example you've got the ships um so these like the, the rail gun turrets that they have they can just pop into there uh, you can magnetize these as well so uh, it does make a big difference because then you can just pop that in because you can do obviously weapons variations so there's another weapons variation which is some sort of like missile launcher uh, for it, missile cruisers and some more weapony weapons there um, but yeah so quite a lot of uh, ship available in this kit um, so as a battle fleet you've got a whole battle fleet there so you can actually make up things um, accordingly to some dastardly plan for world domination, obviously. But uh, yeah, so that's basically one variation of what you can build out of that. Um, I would always advise going, like doubling up on whatever you're, you're choosing. Um, obviously, if you had the same class, like the, the Morozko, um, to make up like a squadron for example um, would be a nice round uh, number for one but also give you a, a bit more options there but as I said you can pop the weapons out um, obviously the um, oh, that one is the I think that's Katanga, that's Katanga there so there are slight variations in like the uh, prow of the actual ship because that's got like a drill bit on there whereas the Morozko doesn't so, yeah, you got to choose your your ships wisely. But you know, as as a, a kit, I'm actually quite impressed with these ones because I said I, I've been spoiled by the crown. Um, but these guys uh, do look really, really cool. And I say like low level flying uh, air uh, hovercraft delivery system. And as I said, for a resin kit, there's there's no greasy feel to it as well. So that's uh, pretty good. Um, it's always nice, but obviously, as play it safe, you always give them a good cleanup uh, prior to painting. But yeah, so that is the Alexia Battle Fleet set for Dystopian Wars by War Cradle Studios. Um, Overall, I, I I love I love this I love these uh, aesthetics they have for this game, um, and yes, I am looking forward to actually doing something with these. Um, 
uh, get some paint on them rather soon because I'll probably be doing these uh, this week um, when I've got some time to do some hobby. But there you go. I uh, hope you found that informative. Um, uh, I certainly have. <laughs> but uh, yes, um, this is a rather cool kit. It's on pre-order, I think, from this weekend. Um, I've started advertising uh, this. So um, yeah, if you're into the Commonwealth faction of Dystopian Wars, I think this could be a purchase for yourselves. And I hope that you've uh, found these uh, little looking quite helpful in making your decision. So until next time, happy hobbying. Take care.